Hey guys, so I'm going to put out a video um, and this one is mainly to put in the description of the last video, turning physical art to digital art. I realize that there is no sound on there now, so I am creating this video to go over what it was that I did um, to turn my physical piece into a digital piece. So check it out. Hello there and welcome. I am going to again go over how to turn a physical piece into a digital piece but this time we got the audio so thumbs up uh, <laughs> uh, so I am going to go first the first tools that I use when turning a physical piece into a digital piece are procreate where are we procreate and then also canva um, I use Canva as a source for digital images. They are copyright free. Uh, so anything that you find there is um, available for reuse. It's meant for that without there being any, um, you know, legal issues, right? Uh, so one of the things that's talked about in uh, the NFT space is that, you know, some people are taking the credit uh, for a piece of a copyright of a different artist. So let's say you have a picture of Biggie, for example, uh, and you know, I've done something similar where before I knew I had a piece of Biggie and I kind of added some extra flair to it, but that the actual ownership of that piece goes to the person who took that picture. Um, so, and for just later on to have a solid foundation, you want to make sure that any images that you use are copyright free. So this is the original piece that I, um, started with. I came up, uh, I created this piece in 2018. Um, and I knew that it would be a uh, play on the last supper. We have the follow table here or the table here as the, um, follow symbol. And, uh, we also have the, two, the hearts, um, each half of a heart is a disciple uh, the uncolored, unshaded heart is like a representation of, uh, Judas. And then you have the verify symbol, uh, as, uh, Jesus, right? Right in the center as it is on the last supper. What I love, 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 love about the digital space and coming into being a digital artist is that I can now expand on my ideas even more. So let's go into Canva here. I again knew that I wanted to have the last supper piece. So Canva has everything like head to toe. I haven't seen anything that I've typed in that they didn't have it for. Uh, so let's go here. I went in. I knew I wanted the last supper piece, so I simply went over to photos. Then I went to type in the last supper. Boop. And then I scrolled until I found the one that uh, fit the feeling that I wanted to create the most uh, and brought it over here. Now, how you see it right here as is now, that's what it is after I put this overlay on it. I went to, again, photos, went to Instagram icon, boop. I knew that I wanted to do that. So a lot of the work is done for you. And um, as you can see, like just being fully transparent, my art of the Last Supper, while still valid because of the concept and because it is something meaningful to me and resonates with others, it wouldn't have been received as well or look as professional uh, to the eyes of someone else in uh, different parts, different levels of an art industry. Uh, but now I'm able to convey that without having uh, the same skill set as other artists, which is fully okay. We are all artists um, in, in some form or fashion. And just because, you know, you can't do one thing or another doesn't mean that what you have to say in the world isn't important my little rant there but uh so I, I brought that piece over then how i made it see through was i changed the transparency here at this square down to what i needed it to be uh, but it's layered on top of another so i'm just gonna bring it back to that i got the like heart from over here as well just typed in like heart like narrow it down as much as you possibly can exactly what you want type it in over there um in the uh, photo section and you will have exactly what you're looking for nine times out of ten and then i did the verify symbol uh which that one is different from this one i can't i haven't 
found this one yet but then i took all of this i went over here to save with transparency that's so you won't have this background there okay and i went to save with transparency so we're gonna pretend as if i've already uh because i because i've already done that and then we are going to go over to uh here i can't remember which one has the layers there we go that one uh let me make sure that we are still recording yep okay good please let the audio audio be on this one so as you can see i got all of the layers here i got the last supper layer right i'm gonna take them out as you see them i got the table i added it added the blue to the table through this layer here added my verified sign all of my likes and then to change the size once they were bought on the page I just you know did that there I'm gonna reset that um, and I adjusted it to where it needed it to go guys have fun with it I cannot begin to express and use this as a way to express yourself and broaden it even more uh, the concept of what you want your art to really look like uh, or really um, really say yeah that's what that's really the word okay so for the Instagram symbol uh, it, you know notice that on this piece boop boop oh Canva you just want me to see your logo <laughs> uh, Canva is the ish y'all it is really it really is like the business um, I do so much here in Canva, so I recommend it 1000%. Um, and yeah, so you're gonna take that, how I have this here. I just took it, brought it over to here, and then I use this smudge to, and you'll see me really do a dramatic one here, but to spread it out, to spread it out past to the outside there, you know? And eventually the color just came with it. Um, but now I'm taking the white into it. Uh, oop, what did I do? Wait, there we go. <laughs> okay, so uh, then I took it out of there, turned it, and you can turn things into animated GIFs. I have a video on that from Procreate, but in order to animate it, I was just like, and I needed to add the word follow. I was like, let me go back into um, Canva. So I turned it, downloaded it as a PNG because that is the clearest. Um, version of a download that you can do for you know posting on uh, platforms like OpenSea and Rarible then I got my they have these things called stickers where are you in elements and you can put but they're called stickers they're you know gifts that you can add on top of an image um, essentially let's see arrow uh, sticker or arrow gift that one would have worked boop and they have okay see these are all still but if you scroll down there you go you'll start to see the moving ones you can see the one that i use i clicked it brought it over to where i wanted it to go and how i wanted it to look adjusted it and all uh, and then i added the word follow i did that on this page as you can see i used the font that i wanted to by going over to text and I too was able to animate that uh, up here in this section instead of saying block if you're coming into a clean it's just gonna say animation and it gives you all of these options is it gonna do it oh it's doing it to the second one let's see let's we, we, we want to do it to the first one hmm Okay, and then some, some more effects uh, would be, you know, using shadow. You could curve the word. Guys, get in here, have fun with it. And if you have any questions too, uh, I'll let you know right now how you can contact me um, so that I can walk you through step by step on any questions that you have with turning your piece into a physical piece, to digital piece, uh, and more. So I'm going to hop off and I'll see you on the screen. Okay, so I'm back <laughs> days later, 
but the piece is finished so now all I want to tell you that is if you want to know more feel free to, free to reach out because I'm here to help um, I hold uh, live Q&A's um, on my Facebook group which you guys can join it's how to create and sell an NFT follow my clubhouse profile uh, follow my Instagram and message me and let me know that you watched this video you found it helpful but now you want to know how to to do it with your piece whatever you need guys i'm here to help i'm happy to help um i just want to pay forward um a the assistance that i got when i first came into the nft space because man it is needed okay it's a whole new world and it's moving fast and then two uh i really truly believe that um as artists we can all thrive there are so many walls and so many rooms and so many houses all over the world why <laughs> have we already not seen that um if we helped each other we everybody everybody could be on the wall everybody all of us as artists should be able to eat i want to get rid of this notion that we have to thrive as artists in the nft space is that window it's this wide window for us to do it but we have to do it right um meaning we have to you know be able to put ourselves out there market ourselves which i am really good at giving marketing tips and i give it away for free because why not what i know all you have to do is apply um apply what i share and we can grow as a community and we all have something to share that the next person doesn't so you have something to contribute to and that's what my community is all about so thank you so much for watching be sure to like comment and share this video comment on and share this video and then also be sure to subscribe to this page thank you so much for watching i appreciate uh your time again let me know if you have any questions thank you and goodbye